Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Ryan Hansen's episodes of European Truck Simulator. And today, I'm going to be reviewing the Euro Truck Simulator part of the DLC, the Heavy Haul part pack thing. Now, as you can see, this is one of the, um, this is one of the trailers. I guess you might not know, but this is one of the trailers that you will get in the Heavy Haul DLC when you buy it, like I did. Now you just gotta get close and stuff. Okay. Cool. And then you'll notice straight away- Oh, sh stop going backwards. You'll notice straight away that it looks really cool. And you'll notice straight away that my truck looks horrendous. Away. Okay. But, um... First, you'll notice that, wow, like, it's got four wheels in the back, on each side. Say what? And it looks like there might be two of them on each one, so that's two, four, six, eight, and that's sixteen wheels. And I suppose if you look nice and close, you can see that when I drive, get okay, ready, I'm gonna pull forward, I'm gonna turn, The wheels turn like so. Is that cool? That's why the European truck part of it is just so darn amazing. Because it turns, for goodness sake. I mean, look at that. That straightens back up again. It like follows your truck around. It's like the coolest thing. So, yeah. Here is the Heavy Haul DLC review. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, screenshot. Oh, that is cool. Okay, cool. Well, anywho, let us go. Now, you may notice all the clicking and stuff, but that's because I'm manually driving this sucker. I'm gonna need that. Okay. And, well, frankly, I don't have an H shifter, so I have to use my shifter pedals. That's kind of hard to do. You can't just shift from 1 to 4, you have to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Which is terrible, if I'm honest, but I can't find one that's compatible with my wheel or, well, frankly, is compatible with via USB. So if you know one of those and you can find one, please comment in the comment section below. Now today we're going to be going 20 hours and 46 minutes to, um, Uppsala. Sorry if I didn't pronounce that right. But it's mostly boat journey, which is nice. Now I gotta shift down, and I'm rolling backwards somehow. Okay. Cool. Let's go, come on, eh. There we go. In trucks, you don't realize how many gears there are for everything. Because there's just so many of them. They're everywhere. Alright, now we're gonna turn here. We're just gonna kinda coast in. If you notice, we just keep like... It just follows behind me like a dog. I don't even need to like take corners follows me. We'll stop right here. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. And enter. We're going there. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce these names. They're just so hard to pronounce. Well, in America anyway. Oh, okay. Sorry, parking brake. Okay, cool. Gear 9. Okay, cool. I must admit, automatic is much easier, except uh, manual is just more 
you, you've got more control of your truck. And it's just more fun. Well, to some, to some people, anyway. Um, let me turn right here. Let's watch our trailer follow us. Beautiful. Let's turn again. Cool. Alright, we got 1 hours and 43 minutes of traveling to do. So, I will now amaze you with my speaking. So, we got some big news in the trucking world. SCS, the makers of this, um, they are releasing a new, major new update that, um, well, frankly, it's free, which is just amazing, but it, it, sorry, let me start over. They just really, they're about to release a new update sometime that'll, um, let you have double trailers. Won't that be fun? I mean, come on, people. Double trailers. That'd be fantastic. I mean, that'd just be awesome. And that will be for Euro Truck Simulator and, I mean, the Euro Truck Simulator 2 and Euro, I mean, an American Truck Simulator. Which is just gonna be utterly fantastic. Now... We're gonna be doing lots of those, I presume, once that releases. You can do it right now in a public beta, except at the moment it's kind of... Well, I watched a video from Squirrel last, well, sometime, and it, um... He, he had a... Hit the trailer that was next to his had, um, it was like 30 feet in the air, and it was just sitting there. So if you wanted to take that trailer, you couldn't do anything about it. You have to waste all your money and be like, okay, guys, I, I can't, I can't deliver this trailer, so I'm gonna have to pay so-and-so amount of money to actually, like, like, abandon it, because I can't do anything about it. And I wonder if you just went under it, would it just kind of attach to you? Darn it. Would it attach to you and be pulled from 30 feet in the air, or is it physically in the game? 30 feet in the air. That's what I wonder. I don't know if anyone else knows wonders that. Or if you do know and you've tried, then please make a comment. Alright. On the highway. Knocking over a sign. Look at that. It's like a puppy. Let's turn on double wipers here and speed up. Cool. Now we're not getting off here, and I've already been there, so we don't need to. Alright, so yeah, we've got an hour and 15 minutes left. I was actually recording this video earlier, except OBS, like when recording the game audio. So I was just sitting there just like, okay, I'm going to have to do this all over again. And so here I am, with a different job. <sighs> Probably in a different car, I didn't die. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Seriously? not want any more damage. Seriously? Seriously. Did that seriously just happen? I suppose I didn't even look. I can't believe that just happened. I've got 8% damage on my trailer. five minutes left. Wonderful. Okay, well, in other news, how do you like my truck? Yeah, I know, right? Looks awesome. We got the, uh, like, cloth, pulse, upholstery, whatever. It just looks fabu. 
utterly fabu. My steering wheel. My seat. My dashboard. It's full of it. Full of it. And it's everywhere. And it's driving me slightly crazy. And I regret my decision, kind of. But yeah. Earlier, um, in my other video that I was trying to film, I had this, um, Iveco, and it was the best I've ever driven. That was the best kind that I've ever driven from Iveco, and it was just, it wasn't cloth and disgusting, it was like actual, it was like new and good. And I was like, whoa, how come I've never seen one of these before? And I don't know, I guess, but... I hope to find out, because, I mean, it's a sweet, sweet, sweet truck. The only thing I don't like about it is that the blinkers go... Instead of the... I mean, oops, instead of the... Which is so much nicer, because if it's... And you realize, like, and you look down at the dashboard and you don't see any, like, thing up, and because it's in one of those periods where it's not actually illuminated and you're just like, oh, oh, train. And you realize, and it's like, oh, I don't have my turn signal on. So you go, you hit the button again, and you turn it off. Turn it, car. These things are a speck in my mirror. Speck. <sighs> that mini's just went to the left side. I don't know why- oh, I could speed up, couldn't I? I'm getting off here anyway, though. I'll gain some speed, I suppose. So, if you're playing this game... Hey, this sucker doesn't have a retarder. Ick. But if you're playing this game, and you don't have the heavy haul pack, heavy haul DLC, I highly recommend you buy it. It's very good. Very good. And frankly, it's just a joy to drive. Because you're just like, wow, I don't have to care where my trailer goes anymore. Because I know it'll follow me, give or take, 20 feet. But it's like, oh, yes, sorry, not give or take 20 feet, give or take like 10 feet. And it's like, yes, yes, this is good. Like this. So yeah. Alright, now we've arrived at Uppsala. Let's get on this roundabout here. Let's not crash into something. And as he going through. How is this working? I need to shift down. Go, you idiot. Now, observe the power of the turn. It just follows it. Isn't it just amazing? Insane! Okay. Can't really drive from that point of view, can you? start on this. Alright, let's go. Yes! Turning left here. Alright, coast is clear. Alrighty. 
right here, it looks like. Let's see where we're parking this sucker. Now, take a mind, we're gonna have to reverse this, and I don't know exactly what's gonna happen here. Because, is it gonna be all weird? See, this is what happened. I tried to turn, but it just went straight into that. That's what I don't like. So, you try to turn, but it's just rubbish. Okay. Let's try this again here. Gotta go straight a little bit more so it doesn't clip it. There we go. Okay. You take you gotta remember that. You really have to remember that, because it's crucial. Because I did that once to a trailer. I had the exact same trailer as this one. And I was pulling out. And out of the blue, wow, that's new. Out of the blue, I just see the trailer going underneath the trailer. I'm just like, what? And yeah, so yeah, it totally went under it. it. Totally went under it. To the back, totally went under it. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is a kind of problem. Because it doesn't know when you're trying to not have it do that. It just does it automatically. Now, excuse me for being on the outside for this, but I don't know. If it is. Oh yes, I did it! I did it! Cool. Let's see how much money I got. I didn't get for um swiping that one guy. Still got a thousand from it, but that's rubbish. Well, thank you for uh, oh. Thank you for driving. I mean, thank you for watching the latest edition of Ryan Hansen's episodes of, like, DLC reviews and Euro Truck Simulator. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.